brother called Nasiruddin that why have you, why are you absconding in Malaysia? I'm not absconding in Malaysia. People know that I'm staying in Malaysia, in Putrajaya. What he may be meaning that why did I go, to, why did I run away to Malaysia or why did, why did I come to Malaysia? And you know that there was an allegation by the Indian government because of the popularity and many people were accepting Islam and the new government, the BJP government again is a Muslim and they had a lot of agenda. So they laid allegation against me, first on terrorism, they could not prove it. Then they said hate speech, they could not prove it. Then they went to money laundering, that was they could not prove it. Then they tried to give me a bait and tried to convince me to come back at a compromise, which I didn't agree. Basically, I did hijrah. And hijrah for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I being a die when I felt that my life was in danger, I did hijrah. And this is the sunnah of the prophets and the sunnah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and I was happy that Allah made it possible for me to follow one of the sunnahs of the Prophet which very few people can do. I did Hijrah and I chose Malaysia. The reason is because I feel Malaysia is one of the best available Muslim countries in the world. Most of the Muslim countries in the world today have got problems. The best available amongst the Muslim countries, more than 56 that are there, I felt Malaysia was the best. That is the reason I came here. The reason I felt Malaysia was the best is number one, that Malaysia is away from the war zone. You know, many Muslim countries are in the war zone, especially in the Gulf region. You have war in Yemen, you have war in Syria. So this Malaysia is away from the war zone, number one. Number two, it's away from the wrong influence of the Western countries. You know, people, the, the Gulf countries and Muslim countries close, which are in Europe and otherwise, they're under the influence the bad influence of the Western countries, which Malaysia is away. It has very little influence of America and the Western countries. Number two. Number three, Malaysia is the country which has the strongest passport amongst the Muslim country. A Malaysian can travel to 185 countries without any visa. This was, I checked up last a couple of months back. USA may be additional two countries. The highest is Japan, 190 countries. Then is Singapore, 189 countries. Then maybe UK, USA, 187, 186. Malaysia has 185 countries. The strongest passport amongst all the Muslim countries. That is point number three. Point number four, amongst the non-Arab Muslim countries, I'm not talking about the Arab Muslim countries, the non-Arab Muslim countries, on an average, a Malaysian, according to me, is a more practicing Muslim than an average Indian or average Pakistani. I do not mean bad for the Indians or the Pakistani, even I am an Indian, Indian Muslim. An average Indian Muslim or average Pakistani Muslim or a Bangladeshi Muslim, any non-Arab Muslim. Malaysia is, on average, a Malaysian Muslim is more practicing. You have the percentage wise, if you see a survey that says that in India, the Muslim coming to the five times compulsory sun mosque is just a minute percentage. In Malaysia, it's a high percentage. The people fasting is a high percentage. That's the reason, as compared to the other non-Arab Muslim countries, the practice of Islam is stronger. That's point number four. Point number five, that in Malaysia, the federal religion is Islam. So you don't have to feel shy to call yourself Muslims. There are many Muslim countries where you feel shy to call yourself a Muslim. The majority are Muslims, more than 90% are Muslim, but because of the atmosphere, because of the so-called secular government calling themselves Muslims. So these were the reasons that I chose Malaysia over other countries. I had, I had got requests from more than 12, 13, 14 countries to come and stay there, and I chose Malaysia as the best amongst the one available.